everybody, welcome to the kindergarten and first grade activity for this week. We've been learning about different instruments in the orchestra. And now the topic for this week is instrument families. I'm going to teach you about ways that we organize the instruments into smaller groups. We're going to use this story, Meet the Orchestra, by Anne Hayes and Carmen Thompson to learn about the instrument families. Over the next few weeks, we're going to work through this story. We're going to take our time. We're not going to get through the whole story today, but we are going to get started with a certain family of instruments. We say family for a group of instruments that have some stuff in common. And we're going to let the story tell us a little bit more. Let's get started. The orchestra plays tonight. The audience has arrived. The musicians are coming on stage with their instruments. What a lot of different kinds they play. Strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. Do you think that this page is giving you a hint about what instrument families there might be? See if you can find the names of the instrument families on this page. I'll give you a hint. There's four of them. If you guessed strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion, you'd be right. Those are the four families of instruments. Instruments that are all looking or sounding similar that we put together. Today we're going to learn about the string family. And we're going to start with the violin. Players with like instruments sit together in families. The violins belong to the string family along with the viola, the cello, and the big string bass. You play all of these with a bow or pluck them with your fingers. The violin is the smallest of the string instruments. Its song can be bright as laughter, light as air, soft as a whisper, or sad as a tear. The viola. As instruments get bigger, their voices get lower. The viola looks and sounds like a big brother to the violin. It has a deeper tone reminding you of evening shadows, cloudy skies, and the color blue. The cello. You can't tuck this cello under your chin the way that you do a violin or a viola. It's so big you must rest it on the floor. The cello's rich, mellow voice speaks of deep feelings like joy and sadness, it can remind you of the calm beauty of a drifting swan and the color purple. The string bass. The string bass is the grandpapa of the string family. It's so tall that you must stand up or sit on a high stool to play it. When bowed, its low notes moan and groan. When plucked, its booming sound helps other musicians to keep the beat. One more time, a review of the string instruments that are in this story. We have the violin, the viola, the cello, and the string bass. Can you think of any other string instruments? Here are a few more. The harp, that's a string instrument. The guitar, the ukulele, both of those are string instruments. We're gonna stop here today. You're gonna to go to the next video, which will be linked, and that'll be the activity for this week. Enjoy.